hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you guys how i got this nail design so just keep watching i'm gonna be using long square sculpted tips from a prey and I'm going to be using Blooming Gel from Mia Secret. I got it off Amazon. The nude I'm going to use is Raya's 112. I'm going to be trying these out for the first time. These are nail art brushes from Nail Prof. This is the nail stand I'm using. And these are all the colors. I'll have them all listed in my description. Here I'm going to show you guys what I do to striping brushes to get them to how I like them. I do take a tiny little pair of scissors and I cut off some of the hairs to where it's very very thin. I just feel like it's always easier to use that way. You can do this to any striping brush. And I wanted to recommend this poster tack to you guys. I got it from the Dollar Tree. I highly recommend this because since it is cheap, it's not very strong. So it doesn't really uh, leave a lot of like leftover blue on your nail tips. And this is how I put all my nail tips on the stand. I put the tacky or the poster tack um, already on the stand and I push the nails onto there. <coughs> And excuse my voice I'm currently getting over a cold I've had for almost a week now before you do anything always file the tips of your nails I see a lot of people always leave that little like indent at the tip of their nail I do not know why but please remember to always file that off it looks so much better and this is another thing I've been doing differently. Instead of buffy nails, you guys know I never really buff nails, but I did have an incident when gel polish came up on one of my customer's nails for the first time a few months ago. So now I take acetone on a lint-free pad and chemically um, take the shine off the nail. It's really fast, really easy, and it helps with the gel peeling off if you guys don't want to use a buffer and buff each nail I'm gonna go in with Raya's nails in the shade 112 and I think I only did two coats on this set I usually do three but since I'm making this set for myself I didn't want to waste it so I only did two coats And then I'm going to be putting all the first colors I'm using on this little opal nail art, um, nail art, what is it called? Like a little pad. I am starting with the lighter colors. I'm doing the French tips, the lighter color. So like I had a dark pink and a light pink, um, dark blue, light blue. I'm starting with the light ones first. I'm not really going to go too into detail because I do have a very in-depth video on how I do my Frenchies, but basically I do a V-tip, very narrow, and then I do that little swoosh and could do the trace out the smile line, I believe it's what it's called, and then I just fill it in. But yeah, if you guys... Are having trouble with your French tips or V tips I do have a video and I'll also leave that in my description
I also want to take this time to say that I have if you guys have noticed if you guys follow me on Twitter or Instagram I am taking I'm currently on a little social media break um today is August 23rd I think I took it last week so if you haven't really seen me on there that's why I love taking social media breaks I feel like they're so good for you mentally I just needed a break um I just I like taking I don't like being on social media that much I don't know if that has to do with me being an introvert but sometimes it is a lot so I do like to take breaks I don't know when I'll be back on but I'll still be posting on YouTube <laughs> Also, so at the beginning when I started these French chips, I did try the gel art brush. I don't know if you guys saw. I didn't like it. That's why I'm not using it and just kind of sticking to what I like. I just felt, I think I did it on the red nail, the thumbnail. Um, I just find that it kind of leaves the nail streaky. And I know I've been using Tracy Nails Polish for a very long time. And I know that one coat can be very full coverage you know what I mean so yeah I'm not a fan of that brush I don't think it's the brand at all I just don't like those brushes After I finish up all those colors, I take alcohol or acetone on those lint-free wipes and clean up the little opal plate. And now I am putting the darker colors on there. So the darker red, the darker pink, the darker purple, the darker blue, and the darker green. And then I'm going to take the blooming gel and I personally do every nail one by one. So instead of going and putting blooming gel on every single nail and then go back in with the color, I put the blooming gel on. I just cover the Frenchie and then I go in and all you do is just dot, just little dots or big ones. It just depends on like how you want it to look. But I loved how this design came out. Especially these colors I don't I feel like um my camera didn't pick it up that well but this I would love to do a full set with just this lighter orange red and the darker red the reason why I started um, doing just one nail at a time is because when I first would work with blooming gel and I put blooming gel on all the nails and then go back in, I found by the time I got to the pinky, I'd have it wouldn't work. Like the colors just wouldn't bloom correctly. So maybe if you're having trouble with that, just go in and do each nail one at a time. But this design is so easy. It's super trendy right now. And it's so easy. I've seen some people also do it with base coat. I really like the blooming gel though.
I especially loved how this one came out. I think it's super pretty. And before you put these <clears throat> into the UV lamp, always wipe the sides so you don't get like those big ends where all the gel polish just kind of puddles up. Once you cure that for 60 seconds, just go ahead and put some top coat on it. I'm using a prey. And after that top coat cures, I cure it for like 90 seconds, I do take an 8080 grit file and file the nails. I feel like that's what really makes them look more acrylic like when you bring that sharp uh, shape back in because gel really does take the shape away, especially when you apply a lot like I did. When you're filing, just make sure you file lightly. If you go too hard, you'll file, you'll end up filing way more length off than you probably want to. I've done that quite a few times. And that is the finished set. I hope you guys love this. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Bye.